Live from Arkansas's breaking news leader, Fox 16 News at 530 starts now. We begin with breaking news out of West Little Rock where a manhunt is underway after a high speed chase. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for Fox 16 News at 530. I'm Donna Terrell. I'm Kevin Kelly, Fox 16's Mitch McCoy, live outside Pleasant Point Apartments on Green Mountain Drive. He joins us live. And, and Mitch, at one point, I know you saw dozens of officers out there, but bring us up to speed and tell us the very latest. Yeah, Kevin and Donna, good evening. The very latest is that just moments ago, we confirmed with Little Rock Police that this all started out on Rodney Parham near the interstate where police confirm that one of the vehicles was shooting a gun at another car. Arkansas State Police was actually working an accident when they heard the gunfire and they started chasing one of the cars involved. We believe as of what we're told right now by police, a gun was recovered in the car that ended here. Chase brought it here to Pleasant Point Apartments right off of Green Mountain Drive and you're able to see that most of this scene is clear, but imagine just about an hour and a half ago, this entire parking lot filled with Arkansas State Police troopers and the Little Rock Police Department. It also, the search included a helicopter earlier today as police searched for one of the suspects involved in this high-speed chase. We are told that officers have arrested one person, and while troopers were searching for another suspect, they were also looking inside the car that eventually ended here at Pleasant Point and were told by police that they recovered a gun and drugs inside that car. I just moments ago spoke with a person who lives down the road here off of Green Mountain Drive and it tells me that he was nearly hit in this high speed chase. Well, as I was sitting in my car, you know, trying to figure out what's going on, he loops back around, comes back by. This time he's got four, four police officers behind him. A very active scene just a few hours ago, but again, that second person has not been arrested as of yet, but police have not released any suspect descriptions. Officers now telling us that they do not believe there is immediate threat to public safety because they said these people were running from the police. We're live in West Little Rock tonight. Mitch McCoy, Fox 16 News. Uh, at least at one moment, it was definitely a chaotic scene. But it sounds like things are under control. They just need to find that second person. All right, thank you. Now, we broke this story for you on the Fox 16 News smartphone app to be the first to get breaking news alerts. You can download the app at the App Store or Google Play. Time now for a breaking news update. Authorities in Saline County are still working tonight to find the person who shot a woman and her infant son. It happened last night in the East End area. We're told the 23-year-old mother has been released from the hospital. Her one-month-old son is still there, but doctors believe he will recover. The Saline County Sheriff's Office is looking for 49-year-old Sean Schultz for questioning. He has not been named a suspect in this case but we're told he should be considered armed and dangerous. Still no word tonight what led to that shooting. In eastern Arkansas, one person is recovering after being shot inside a Walmart. It happened early this morning in West Memphis. Investigators don't think the victim's injuries are life-threatening. At this point, it's not clear who the shooter is or what led to the shooting. Now, whether to plan your day with Fox 16 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baskin. Today a little bit milder than it was yesterday, but that warming trend not going to last very long. Another cold front heading our way, but a pretty looking sunset out there right now. This is our crane camera in Conway showing the sun going down. Still some colors in the sky thanks to some high thin cirrus clouds. Those clouds coming in ahead of a front, but really not much in the way of precipitation with the front. No rain, no snow, but that front moves through this evening. Winds are going to increase and temperatures are going to drop. Notice across north northwest Arkansas, temperatures are already not much above freezing. 33 in Harrison, 34 in Mountain Home, but upper 40s to lower 50s in central Arkansas, quite a bit milder than it was 24 hours ago, 15 to almost 20 degrees warmer. But again, that colder air is coming right back in as we go through tonight. Look how fast these temperatures drop in the mid 40s by 6 o'clock and down near freezing by around midnight. And as the winds pick up, that's going to drive those wind chills or how it feels down into the 20s. We're talking about some very up and down temperatures in your seven day forecast. That's ahead in just a few minutes. Okay, Jeff, thank you. A small Arkansas school district is leading the way for school safety. The Quitman School District is now 
only the only one in the state to have shelters in every single classroom. Fox 16's Rebecca Jeffrey takes us inside the shelter and how the community feels about the investment. She joins us live. Rebecca. Good evening, Donna and Kevin. The shelter serve two purposes. One is as a storm shelter. The other is in the case of a lockdown. While the superintendent says in his 30 years in education, he never imagined needing his students safe from potential gunfire. He says most parents have expressed only gratitude for the added protection. These Quitman Elementary students hardly notice the new addition to their classroom. I would like our ladies to go first. Today, their focus is music. Tomorrow, it could be storms or worse. This door is 325 pounds. That's why Superintendent Dennis Truxler had 53 shelters installed in every classroom, cafeteria, and gym in the district. They're rated for an EF5 tornado, and they're also made with ballistic steel that the U.S. Army uses on the armored vehicles. So here's how the students get into the shelters. A teacher unlatches these three locks. Once the students are inside, the door is secured and a light leads their way. To grasp just how big some of these shelters are, here in the cafeteria, it can fit several hundred students. Melissa Bobo owns a salon nearby. With her two kids' equipment schools, she's glad they're pumping up safety. I think it's sad that that's what we've come to, but I'm, I'm very grateful that our school was able to provide those. The school board unanimously approved the million dollar investment. Installation was completed Saturday and drills have already begun. In less than two minutes, our right. folks can be out of harm's way. Hey, let's go. Well, the young students chatter with excitement in this practice run. It's the protection the shelter provides that Truxler believes will help get them back to the music. In the average classroom, they can fit about 28 to 30 people in those shelters. The superintendent says they can be broken down and moved in the event that the district builds a new school. Donna. All right, Rebecca, thank you. On day 34 of the ongoing government shutdown, the Senate has voted down two competing proposals to get everything up and running again. The plan, backed by Democrats, would reopen the government through February 8th and provide $12 billion in disaster aid. The plan, backed by President Trump and Republicans, would provide funding for a border wall and disaster aid, along with changes to asylum protections. There is hope tonight that the leaders in Congress can find a compromise between the two plans, but it's unclear where negotiations stand this evening. And President Trump's Commerce Secretary is being criticized today for saying he doesn't understand why some furloughed federal workers need help from food banks during the shutdown. Wilbur Ross said on CNBC today that the 800,000 workers going without pay is not a gigantic number overall in the economy. Mr. Secretary, there are reports that there are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why, because as I mentioned before, the, the obligations that they would undertake, say a borrowing from a bank or a credit union, are in effect federally guaranteed. Several Democrats have called Ross's comments out of touch and tone deaf. The 87th winter meeting of the United States Conference of Mayors in full swing at the nation's capital. The three-day event will require mayors across the nation to focus on a number of priorities, including infrastructure, immigration, border security, climate, and the economic future of cities. But what's on everyone's mind, including Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr.'s, is the impact of the government shutdown. Anytime that you have a federal government shut down, you have federal employees who are paying their mortgage bills, who are paying ga uh, their gas bill, they're paying their grocery bills, and that is affecting our sales tax revenues. That's number one. Number two, it's affecting those families, and those families are being hindered in their daily lives right now because many people are living paycheck to paycheck, and so right now they have lost two paychecks right now, so which is really uh, creating some issues for them as we move forward. Mayor Scott hoping the shutdown comes to an end soon. He also hopes to learn more from other mayors about public safety and infrastructure. A former state senator charged with bribery and fraud telling a federal judge today he's not guilty. Gilbert Baker is accused of funneling money to a judge to influence a decision in a case involving a nursing home. That judge, Mike Maggio, is now in prison for taking bribes. Baker spoke outside the courtroom today saying he is innocent and that he's confident the truth will come out during this legal process. 
Well, coming up, the latest from Florida after a man killed five people inside a busy bank. Plus, Arkansans who need help getting to their doctor's appointments, not getting much help from companies set up to do just that. We'll show you their concerns and what you can do if you're having this problem. Stay with us. Fox 16 News at 530 returns in about two minutes. Do you know someone working hard to make Central Arkansas a safer place to live? We want to recognize them. Visit the Victory Over Violence page on fox16.com and send us your story idea. Click on the Contact Us icon. Together, we can declare victory over violence. Finally ready to move that unused treadmill out of your room. There's a Ford for that. Sometimes we don't always complete all of our New Year's resolutions, but you can still experience New Year's savings at Landers Ford. We're now offering low prices on all new and used models on our lot. Right now, shop our remaining 2018 models for as low as $13,950. Visit us in-store or online at LandersFord.com. A brand you love at a name you can trust. For all of your heating and air needs, call Air Masters. Call our heating hotline 24 hours a day. And right now, our first-time diagnostic service is only $29. Only $29. And you get the benefit of over 40 years of superior customer service. Ask about 0% financing on new installations. And only Air Masters gives you a 100% satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Air Masters Heating and Air. Call today, 758-HEAT. Attention Medicare beneficiaries, if you have or are eligible for Medicaid, please listen closely. You may be eligible for a Medicare Advantage plan from WellCare Health Plans with zero or low plan premium. Call 1-877-881-0279 now. That's 1-877-881-0279. Representatives will provide detailed information and help see if you qualify. WellCare provides access to a large network of local and regional doctors and hospitals. Plus, some plans may include benefits for dental, vision, hearing, Part D prescription drugs, and more. WellCare is contracted with Medicare to provide plans that may be right for you. Call 1-877-881-0279 now. That's 1-877-881-0279. Watch Stephanie Sharp, weekends on Fox 16, your breaking news leader. DHS is in the process of transitioning who provides medical transportation to Medicaid beneficiaries. For North and Central Arkansas, medical transportation management would make non-emergency and day treatment appointment transportation. DHS says they weren't being consistent, so Southeast Trans is now taking over. Penny Holly from Clinton says she has set up rides with the new company, but hasn't been picked up twice. She says she tried setting up a third appointment and was told a driver may not be able to pick her up either. Paper Springs next week is for a pacemaker to make sure a pacemaker is working right. That will be a life or death situation. DHS says MTM is still providing certain rides until January 31st. Holly says her home health care company told her to call Southeast Trans to set up appointments. DHS says if you're not getting your rides, call the helpline. We've put that on the screen for you. We'll also put it on our website, fox16.com. The number to call is 1-888-987-1201. Be sure to select option two. Mm. Well, the man accused of killing five people in a Florida bank Wednesday made his first court appearance today. Police say Zephan Zaver walked into a SunTrust bank and started shooting. He then called 911, telling dispatchers that what he had done. Zaver was arrested after the standoff with police. All five victims were women. Four were bank employees. One was a customer. A judge today ordered Zaver held without bond. Now, weather to plan your day with Fox 16 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Baskin. A little bit milder today, but we're talking about another big cold blast tonight. Temperatures drop once again as we get a blast of colder air coming on in from the north. But then temperatures warm up a little bit as we go through the weekend, only to get even colder as we get into the middle of next week. Now, as we take a look at the forecast wind chill of how it's going to feel when you factor in the winds, by later on this evening, those wind chills down into the 
teens and 20s. So it's going to feel cold out there. The cold is going to come in pretty quickly during the evening hours. So if you're going to be out later on tonight, make sure you have a good coat with you because it will start to feel pretty cold out there pretty fast. And tomorrow morning, the winds let up a little bit, but temperature is dropping well down in the 20s. Wind chills range from the teens across northern Arkansas to the 20s, central and south. And so that's going to be the case by the time you wake up for tomorrow morning. Satellite and radar showing clouds increasing ahead of our front. We're not talking about any rain or snow associated with this front as it moves on through tonight, but those winds will start to pick up. That front already started to move into northern Arkansas, and you can really see where that front is when you take a look at the temperatures because you get north of the Arkansas border, which is just north of the front, and look how fast those temperatures drop off from 40s into the 20s. Look at that, even single numbers over Iowa. That colder air is coming southward pretty quickly behind that front. That colder air getting into northern Arkansas right now, 31 in Mountain Home, 33 right now in Harrison with the wind picking up as well. Across central Arkansas, head of the front, still a bit milder in the upper 50s and lower 50s. So when that front comes on through, those temperatures are going to drop very quickly over a short amount of time. And as across south central Arkansas, those temperatures mainly in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. Crane team current condition showing 48 right now in Little Rock. The winds are still fairly light northwest at three, but those winds will strengthen out of the north as that front moves on through this evening, likely around, say, 9, 10 o'clock. And as that front continues to move off towards the south, high pressure builds on in, clear and cold for tomorrow morning. But as we get into the evening hours, a weak upper air disturbance moves on in. A couple of snow showers, especially to our north, but I wouldn't rule out maybe a stray flurry or a very light shower later on tomorrow evening as this system moves across the state, but very little moisture associated with it. So not expecting really any uh, concerns as far as any travel concerns. However, as we get into Saturday, that system moves on past. We clear out and as winds turn out of the west, we do start to warm up highs well back up into the 50s as we go into the weekend. So for tomorrow morning, starting off in the mid 20s, warming up into the mid 30s. By the time we get into the midday hours, clouds on the increase with that weak upper air disturbance becoming mostly cloudy by the evening hours. And again, wouldn't rule out a stray shower or a flurry, especially north. Those temperatures drop dropping back down into the mid 30s. Here's that seven day forecast 41 tomorrow, only putting a very low chance of uh, as may a sprinkle or a flurry tomorrow. Again, not expecting really much of anything. And as we get into the weekend, warming up upper 50s by the time we get into Sunday, Monday front approaches ahead of that front, some southwest winds, temperatures up in the 60s, but then a big blast of colder air comes on in as we get into the middle of the week with lows well down into the 20s and highs likely staying in the 30s. Donna and Kevin. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Well, the new report shows just how much the cost of insulin for treating type 1 diabetes has skyrocketed in the last decade or so. The nonprofit group, the Healthcare Cost Institute, says the cost nearly doubled from 2012 to 2016. About 1.2 million Americans have type 1 diabetes, and some people who rely on insulin to stay alive say they could be forced to cut back due to the high cost. <laughs> Have you heard of these Arkansans, James Clark or Uriah Milton Rose? Their statues represent the natural state at the U.S. Capitol. Clark was a U.S. Senator and the 18th governor of Arkansas. Rose was a nationally prominent attorney who served as a U.S. ambassador under President Theodore Roosevelt. Well, state lawmakers are working to change the two statues to Arkansans who represent the state today. Senator David Wallace would rather see civil rights icon Daisy Bates and music legend, as you can see right there, Johnna Cash. <laughs> I, I think we know who yes, they are. Right? There's no question. <laughs> Sports director Wes Moore will be here in just a few minutes. He will tell us about a Razorback quarterback that's making the move to pitcher. Yes. Plus, a look back at Arkansas's comeback win. You got to like that over Missouri. Stick around. Sudden Death Sports is next right here on Fox 16 News at 530. Sonic Signature Slinger for under 350 calories. Featuring a Sonic patty made with 100% pure beef, mushrooms, and seasonings. Say yes to flavor. Say no to guilt. Then say yes to flavor again. Don't miss out. Sonic Signature Slingers for $1.99. And try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. Hi, I'm Missy Gibson. My family and I would like to invite you to see all that John Gibson Auto Sales has to offer. We have one of the largest, most diverse, and newest inventory of any buy here, pay here dealers in the state. We have cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles, ATVs, campers, performance trailers, and boats. Whether you have good credit, bad credit, or no credit, we will finance you. Check us out at JohnGibsonAutoSales.com and we will have your purchase ready when you get here. 
Christopher, I see you're scheduled for a colonoscopy, but you also have a tummy ache. Mm -hmm. Well, you came to the right place. I'll look at you during your exam. Let's head back to our surgical center. Right this way. Okay, baby. I've got it from here. Okay, Daddy. I'm Dr. Brian McGee, and here at the Arkansas Diagnostic Center, we encourage everyone 45 and older to get screened for colon cancer, and we even take care of tummy aches. Call today and schedule your appointment. The epic sell-off is on now at Furniture Row. And when we say epic, we mean epic. Shop today and find incredible discounts store-wide. That means epic savings on sofas, sectionals, and accent chairs. Epic markdowns on dining groups, tables, and bar stools. Epic deals on bed sets, dressers, mattresses, and adjustable bases. Plus, four years no interest financing. Epic styles, epic selection, all with epic savings. Find them today at Furniture Row. This is the best chili I've ever had. I'll be the judge of that. Mm. Hearty chunks of beef, bold seasonings. Winner! <laughs> oh, I just want to thank everybody. I don't like the me. way that's gone to your head. Sonic's new Hearty Chili Bowl. Here, but not for long. And try order ahead to get happy hour anytime. Bad Boy Mowers is the leader that rises and stands to outperform and outlast all of its competition with one singular goal in mind. Deliver the most powerful, durable, most comfortable zero-turn mower in the world. Make your country bad boy country. Wayne Smith Trucking in Moralton wants to take the time to say thank you to not just our drivers, but all truck drivers out there traveling thousands of miles from your family every day. Think about it. If you bought it, a truck brought it. So thank you from Wayne Smith Trucking in Moralton. See breaking news as it happens. Like or follow Fox 16's Morrow award-winning social media account. 16 Sudden Death Sports with Sportscaster of the Year, Wes Moore. The Razorbacks got off to a terrible start against Missouri. They trailed 17 to 4, 10 minutes into the game. It wasn't looking good, but Arkansas got defensive. They began chipping away and trailed by just two at the half. In the second half, Arkansas outscored Missouri 40 to 26 to get the win. The players say they had to lean on each other during the tough time. We just got to focus in and stay together as a team, you know, don't disperse, stay together, be strong, because we've been down in situations like this before and came back. So we knew that we could do it. We just had to start on the defensive end, and that's what we did. We came back together. We came together came out and played as a team because we had guys that were trying to go in and get it on their own. We had to let the game come to us. We couldn't just go try to take it because that's what was going to get us beat. Like I said, we were trying to get our confidence back, and that's what we did. The Diamond Hogs season opener is three weeks from today. They'll start practice tomorrow and scrimmage this weekend. There will be a lot of new faces, but Razorback fans are very familiar with one freshman. Connor Nolan is making the move from quarterback to pitcher. And once spring football begins, Connor will be busy. But Dave Van Horn says there's a plan. If Connor is one of our weekend starters and he's supposed to pitch on Saturday and it's the same day as the you know red white football game then he might not play in the football game that day so uh, that was what that, that's kind of the way it was worded but I you know that'll have to be earned by Connor he'll have to come in here and and show us what he can do we have a lot of basketball tonight we'll check on the Little Rock and A-State men and women plus the Arkansas women try to build off Monday's win over Tennessee we'll see at nine do you still chase cars all day? Only the damaged ones. What would you do if you caught one? Tell them to call 374-6300. Smart dog. Call me, Attorney Peter Miller, the man with the smile. Now 374-6300. Hi, I'm Steve Landers for Steve Landers Kia. Here to tell you about our best sales event ever. We're moving to our new location on Colonel Glen, and we can't take these cars with us. The countdown to moving day is 30 days and 300 vehicles to go. Unbelievable deals, unbelievable inventory. It's our best sales event ever, and it's going on now. 300 more vehicles must go in 30 days. Steve Landers Kia, South University in Little Rock. You know what slow's good for? Pot roast. Not so much for web browsing, streaming, or posting. To get the most out of the internet, you need crazy fast speed. 
Introducing Viasat Fast for All Home Internet. It's up to 10 times faster than DSL. And with up to 100 meg connection speeds, unlimited data, and reliable Wi-Fi, binge watching, downloading, browsing, and working anywhere on any device has never been faster. Call Viasat today at 1-888-645-4293 and we'll guarantee your price for two full years. Faster Internet is here for your home or your business. And if you call now, our plans start as low as $50 per month. New, double the speed of our most popular plan for the same price. Go to GetViasat.com or call 1-888-645-4293 to sign up today or visit your local Viasat retailer. Viasat, fast for all, is here. it feels like a black cloud is hanging over your life and the insurance company doesn't want to pay when they find out i'm on your case well you know <laughs> blue skies buck 16 sports sponsored by your arkansas select buick gmc dealers you're watching fox 16 news at 5 30 covering hot springs bryant little rock and all of central arkansas well, for those of you planning for Valentine's Day, some tough news to pass along to you. In yeah. fact, it might even break your heart. Ah, oh, that's a good one. America's favorite Valentine's <laughs> candy will not be available this year. You know, those sweethearts, the heart candy with a little message of love, it won't be on the shelves. Its original producer went out of business last year, but they won't be gone forever. A new company bought the rights to the sweethearts, and they say they'll be back in business for Valentine's Day 2020. So just hang in there one year, and they'll be back. You know what else is very sweet? This our new, new digs. Our new digs, our new <laughs> set. Yeah, we're kind of giving you a wide view here. Uh, our engineers, our construction crews, our technicians, you, know, you name it, they have been working tirelessly on this set. We could not be more proud of the hard work that they have put into this, and we are really loving this. We have so many opportunities here, too. We do, and that's what you were able to see. I mean, we're showing you different camera, camera angles, but our reporters will be able to be at different stations around the set and in the studio in general, and it's just going to be really nice. The most important thing, though, is that we bring you news that we bring you we are the breaking news leader so we have to make sure that we bring you the news that you look forward to each and every night but we now have another vehicle to do that and we're proud of it i like saying a new year a new set but the same breaking news leader we you better believe that that part <laughs> that part does not change that is chief sure. meteorologist jeff baskin joining us uh, you kind of like these new digs too don't you they they look great unlike the weather <laughs> All right. Tonight. That's going to do it for us. We'll see you tonight at 9. Finally.